I believe that the legalization of marijuana, other than for medical, because I think medical, you know, I know people that are very, very sick, and for whatever reason, the marijuana really helps them. Uh, but, but it really helps them. But I think in terms of marijuana, I think, and legalization, I think that should be a state issue, state by state. Legal marijuana. Colorado, one of those states that have legal marijuana. Under a Trump presidency, what would you do? Well, medical marijuana, I'm for, and I'm really a state's person. I believe that if the people vote for it, that's absolutely the way it should go. Colorado's an example of that. But I do believe medical marijuana, and I've seen results, I've spoken to people, I'm in favor of it, and uh, as in the case of Colorado, if people vote for it, it's okay, it's state's rights. And that includes recreational marijuana? That includes if they vote for it. About a buzzkill just days after recreational marijuana became legal in California, the feds clear the way for a crackdown. Attorney General Jeff Sessions says federal prosecutors are now free to enforce federal pot laws. Randy Page tells us how this will affect California's budding recreational marijuana market. Randy. Budding is right. It is so loud in here because this store is packed. It is one of the few places in the state where you can actually buy recreational marijuana for recreational users. And so, therefore, I have every right under state law to buy any of these marijuana products. But at the very same time, as soon as I make a purchase, I'm violating federal laws. How does the country's top law enforcer feel about marijuana? Well, here's what Jeff Sessions had to say about cannabis about two years ago while he was still a senator. We need grown-ups in charge in Washington to say marijuana is not the kind of thing that ought to be legalized, it ought not to be uh, uh, minimized, that it's in fact a very real danger. Jeff Sessions eliminated the Obama-era policy of not prosecuting people who buy or sell marijuana in states that have legalized pot for recreational use. And he said it will be up to individual U.S. attorneys across the country to enforce federal drug laws as they see fit. White House Press Secretary Sarah Sanders. It simply gives prosecutors the tools to take on large-scale distributors and enforce federal law. The conflict between federal and state marijuana laws are in full display here. Recreational users are not breaking any state laws, but under federal law, the purchase and sale of pot is illegal, period. And if DEA agents were to raid a store like this, it would be a relatively easy case to make. Up until about 8.58 this morning, we believed in Colorado that states' rights would be protected. Up until about 8.58, maybe it was 8.55, until Twitter told us otherwise, we believed that the will of Colorado voters would be respected. Then Senator Sessions told me that marijuana simply wasn't going to be on President Trump's agenda, that it was something that they weren't going to deal with, that something that President Trump simply wasn't going to focus on. That was back in the spring of 2016, and up until 8.58 this morning, that was the policy. One tweet later, one policy later, a complete reversal of what many of us on the Hill were told before the confirmation what we had continued to believe the last year, and without any notification, conversation, or dialogue with Congress, completely reversed. And we were told that states' rights would be protected, and not just by the Attorney General, then the nominee to be Attorney General. We were told that by then-candidate Donald Trump. In fact, in Colorado, in July of 2016, President Trump was asked this question. When asked if President Trump, then candidate Trump, would use federal authority to shut down sales of recreational marijuana in states like Colorado, then candidate Donald Trump said, quote, I wouldn't do that. But I think in terms of marijuana, I think, and legalization, I think that should be a state issue, state by state. When asked if he, then candidate Trump, thinks Colorado should be allowed what to do what it's doing, then candidate Trump said, it's up to the states, absolutely. It's states' rights. What has changed the president's mind? Why is Donald Trump thinking differently today about what he promised the people of Colorado in 2016? I agree with President Trump that this decision should be left up to the people of Colorado and to other states. And I call on Attorney General Sessions to explain to me why President Trump was wrong in 2016 and what changed their minds. And that they reverse their decision to withdraw and rescind the Cole Memorandum 
and that they re-implement and reinstate the Cole Memorandum. And until that happens, I think I, I am obligated by the people of Colorado to take all steps necessary to protect the state of Colorado and their rights. And that's why I will be putting today a, a hold on every single nomination from the Department of Justice until Attorney General Jeff Sessions lives up to the commitment that he made to me in my confirmation, in my pre-confirmation meeting with him, the conversation we had that was specifically about this issue of states' rights in Colorado. Until he lives up to that commitment, I will be holding all nominations to the Department of Justice. The people of Colorado deserve answers. The people of Colorado deserve their will to be respected.